Why don't we jump into one of our other topics for the day? Raspberry Pi, now with PCI Express expansion. This is absolutely tremendous. The article here is over on Tom's Hardware. I am stoked. Look at this. Is this not... That's actually so awesome. (laughs) Is this not the cutest computer ever? So oh my goodness. You can't do it with the older Raz Pies, but with the Raspberry Pi Pi 4 and with some soldering, okay? This is this is not a stock configuration here, ladies and gentlemen. You can actually take the PCI Express interface that would normally be used for the USB controller and you can just reroute it so you can you can get rid of your USB 3 controller and instead you can have a PCI Express expansion slot that you could then put a USB controller card into. And no. it's only a $6 chip that you need to solve. No, you would probably put in something else. Uh, the example that they have here is a network you card. Could. So you could put higher speed networking, for example, if you were using your Raspi as uh, a router or, or something. A I mean, server. Or as a file server. Actually, a file server would be a great example of why you would want 2.5 gigabit networking. And if that PCIe interface is fast enough for a USB 3.0, um, yeah, USB 3 controller, then it's definitely fast enough for 2.5 gig networking. Now, obviously, the first thing that came to my mind is I want to put an RTX 2080 Ti on it. Obviously. Obviously, that's the first thing I wanted to do. Unfortunately, the developer of this little hack acknowledges... Uh, where is it? Dun, 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 dun. You guys should make, like, the world's smallest yet still large like plex server or something um, and have it in like a tiny little box with the network expansion card that's kind of a and cool get, idea like a massive uh i'm assuming this is sd card storage but they have huge sd cards these days so you get like a massive sd card a network expansion card huh could be pretty sweet. That's not a bad idea. I think we'd probably go something a little more powerful than a Raspi, just so you can actually, you know, uh, have a little bit more flexibility in your real-time transcoding. But that's that's kind of a cool idea. It did, could be kind did, of sweet if you did you if work you... as a like tech YouTuber writer at one point. <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, it could be kind of cool, like because a lot of people have those networking cabinets these days. Yeah, those like white ones that sit in the wall. So if you could like fit it in there. That would be very cool. So this is from the Tom's uh, Tom's Hardware article. Uh, Unfortunately, graphics cards will not work because the CPU does not have enough bar space for them. Um, And when I tried to find out exactly what they meant by bar space, I ended up with a lot of results about space bars. So uh, (laughs) given that I don't want to, you know, drink beverages outside of Earth's, you know, atmosphere, I... Um, I'm going to need you guys to pitch in in chat to let me know. Base address register is commonly called bars. Hey, there we go. All right. That's, uh, yep. My, my Google, my Google search, uh, history definitely thinks I really need to know what the space bar does. (laughs) Uh, yeah. So that's on, that's unfortunate. That would be super cool, but Hey, two and a half gig or five gigabit networking is also pretty sweet. You could also attach an SSD or a flash card that goes directly to the PCIe bus. That is that is sweet. Totally nerdy. Um, the kind of thing that most people probably wouldn't bother to do just because it does involve soldering. But it's the kind of thing where the cost of the parts is low enough that it's not even that stupid of a thing to do on a weekend, you know? Yeah. And like if you screw it up, it's probably okay. 